Hi, I'm Andrew Dowling, veterinarian with the PGG Rights and Technical team. Today we're going to talk about vaccinating lambs. This is something we often start at docking, and it's to give the lamb its own protection, particularly against pulpy kidney and tetanus. So by giving them their two mil dose at docking, followed up by a booster four to six weeks later, they'll then have their full protection, so that by the time of weaning, when they go on to any specialist forages or have a change of diet, their body is ready to protect themselves. So to get ready for vaccinating today, we've got our Maltine B12. I bought it up here in my chili bag. I've got them in a little pouch so it's safe there out of the way. The dose for a lamb is the same as for a ewe, it's two mils. And I've set my gun up here to give two mils. And I'm gonna put my needle on, angling that needle. I'm right-handed, so when I'm setting up the gun, I want the sharp part of the needle to go against the lamb to go in first. If I was left-handed, I'd want the sharp point of the needle on the other side, so I'd twist it 180 degrees. Today, because we're vaccinating lambs, I'm using 18 gauge, one quarter inch needles. They're a little bit shorter. That lamb doesn't have the same amount of fat in its neck to protect the muscle. And if I inject that muscle, I might cause a lesion, which will be downgraded at the works. So in lambs, we use 18 gauge quarter inch needles, whereas in ewes, I'd use an 18 gauge 3 8 inch needle. When vaccinating lambs, the site that we inject them is, is very important. So I'm gonna go high in the neck here, not far behind the ear, and I'm gonna pinch the skin up. We don't wanna be going anywhere here near the brisket, because we're more likely to get lesions. So it's important that you get good access to the lamb's head so that you can vaccinate it. So I've got my gun here, it's set at two mils. I've got a sharp 18 gauge quarter inch needle. I'm gonna vaccinate these lambs. Now, a common question is when should you change the needle? I know in the packet it says every 12 to 20 animals and that doesn't happen. So what I feel is every time you change your pack of vaccine, change your needle. It does get blunt and a sharp needle certainly goes a long way to stop ending up with lesions in those lambs.